today. Welcome back, everybody. Well, stress we know is a part of everyday life, whether it's family, drama, finances, rush hour traffic, work. Uh, but have you ever thought about how stress could be affecting your dental health? Well, wow. I have not. What? But here to tell us more about the correlation between stress and your smile is Dr. Shannon Hobbs. Welcome back, Shannon. Good to see you. grind my teeth at night and it's so loud that it wakes up my husband Yasik and then he has to wake me up to get me to stop. Yeah. So is my grinding getting in the way of my beauty? Uh, <laughs> beauty not necessarily, but dental health for sure. Okay. Um, so grinding is really common. It's done subconsciously often at night and it can wake up your partner, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there is definitely an effect on your teeth. In terms of that wear and tear that's constantly happening, pieces of enamel can chip off. Also, your dentist may have said you have some slight gum recession, which can cause sensitivity. That can come from grinding as well. So it's really that wear and tear. And I have seen even where I've had to extract teeth myself where the tooth is cracked and you have to take wow. it out completely from grinding. Oh, that's yeah, so it can get intense. Also, like there's just the bulking up of the muscle. It can change the appearance of your face a little bit, give you more of a square jaw. So that's not something you want to go for. Got to tone down on the grinding. Okay, I we've talked about this. I actually have a night guard, two night guards. No. I find them so uncomfortable. I never no. ever wear them. No, I know you're not so, alone. Is there something else I can do? So I mean, I like to make night guards that are a little bit thinner, that are comfortable for the patient, um, just so that they can wear it more often. But if that's not working, even the thinnest of <laughs> night guards, Botox is actually a really great treatment. So therapeutic, oh. <laughs> therapeutic you tell. Botox. Oh, it's good. Yes. Therapeutic Botox. Oh, this is great. <laughs> So there are muscles, when you clench and you squeeze together, yeah. you can feel the muscle actually flex. So in the same way that Botox relaxes the forehead muscle to prevent wrinkles, you can actually relax the muscles in the jaw, reduce that uptake of calcium, not allow it to squeeze as hard. So it's a really great option. Again, maintenance, cost, all that stuff. Night guard is always ideal, but it works really well. Okay, I grind too. Can you just feel me? Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I, I don't bulky, grind my yeah. teeth, but I do what Melissa's doing. I clench my, right. my jaw whenever yeah. I'm tense. I think a lot of people do that. A lot of so people. what impact is that having on my teeth? So the clenching, it's uh, definitely, it can, you know, affect your teeth, but it's mainly your jaw. So TMJ, which is the temporal mandibular junction. So that will have cartilage right between the two bones where it meets the skull and the jaw. Yeah. That cartilage will be under a lot everyone's of pressure. Everyone's touching. I know, yeah. everyone's kind of like going for it. it. It squeezes that cartilage, can create an inflammatory reaction, wear down the cartilage, cause it to pop and click and it can also end up leading to arthritis, chronic pain, headaches, all that stuff. So clenching can have an effect. For Wait, sure. so does she need Botox too? Botox works. Botox works for that too. Yeah. yeah, it does. So injecting it really in those muscles, keeping it localized for therapeutic purposes. I know cosmetic is always good too, but injecting it in only those localized areas will reduce that compression, not allow it to squeeze as hard. You can still chew. It won't affect the aesthetics. Is, is a great option. Anything else, though, if I don't want to go that route? Um, definitely a myofascial massage. I love that option for our patients. So a hot compress, Advil, Tylenol, whatnot, and then really getting in there and, and massage. It's a comfortable when you do it, but really massaging that muscle will get it out of that spasm. If you are experiencing pain or even an okay. earache, it can help with that. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. Okay, so this one's interesting because you say that bleeding gums, yeah. uh, bleeding gums could, in fact, be a symptom of stress. Yes. Okay, I thought, you know, maybe somebody wasn't flossing enough. But... And typically it starts with that, right? Okay. It's always a neglect and hygiene that usually causes the bleeding gums. But with stress comes a suppressed immune system. So your body isn't fighting off the natural bacteria in your mouth as effectively as it normally does. So what we see a lot, of, actually in university students who are undergoing a lot of stress, not eating properly, not sleeping properly, you'll notice a big flare-up in ulcerative gum tissue, which we call acute, necroti acute ulcerative necrotizing gingivitis. So it's a big um, deal. So it can really hurt. It can cause bad breath. It's not fun but definitely keep the cleaning on board and definitely sleep well, eat well. That will help a lot and reduce the stress if you can. And reduce the stress. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Okay. Yeah, can anything else be done though? I mean, definitely dental hygiene checkups for sure. Make sure, visit your dentist, see if they can prescribe you an antiseptic rinse. That will help. Um, brush and flossing and antibiotics as needed, but definitely not the route we want to go if you can maintain on your own. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Um, dry mouth, you say, is also related to stress. When someone has dry mouth, you think, are they nervous? You know, what's going on there? What's the correlation between dry mouth and stress. So with stress comes a suppressed salivary flow. So you don't have as much saliva coming into the mouth as we normally do in a non-stressful situation. So with that lack of saliva, we don't have those hydrated tissues. You know, it's like you end up with a little bit of bad breath. You're more disposed to gingivitis, decay, all that stuff. 
so it can happen. So is yes. the answer then just to drink some water, just to hydrate? Hydrating is good, drinking water is good. Actually, a really great technique is coconut oil pulling. So really? half a teaspoon <sighs> of coconut, coconut oil. Oh my God, people have got to hear this. Yes, okay. coconut really oil is a okay. natural solution. It's amazing. Um, so it's half a teaspoon of coconut oil. You want to do it for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, but you can do it in two minute in intervals. So you're going to take a little bit, you're going to swish it. Liquefy. It's liquefied oil. You're going to swish it vigorously. And it's going to do the same thing that like dish soap would do to clean your dishes. So it's going to just encapsulate the bacteria and then you spit it out, not in the sink because it will clog your drains. So spit it into like a disposable cup or something and toss it or however you want to compost. Um, but yeah, it definitely works and it keeps your teeth whiter, it gets rid of skin, keeps your gums good and hydrates your tissues. Awesome. That's a great over the counter they do have options like lubricity a biotin bio extra those are just natural replacements for saliva if you are struggling with the oil pulling if you're finding it a bit annoying but yeah that works too wow i find that when i haven't gotten enough sleep i bite my tongue it is so annoying you'll be like talking to somebody or eating and then you, you bite your tongue and yeah. then you there's trauma yeah and totally. it takes like a, a week to heal i know yeah it's brutal um so it's really common though. is it common it is common so people will bite their cheeks bite their tongue bite their nails they just kind of have those nervous tics when it comes to stress and it can cause trauma it can lead to canker sores ulcers in the mouth and it can be really uncomfortable and can last anywhere up to one to two weeks if it's lasting longer than two weeks get a biopsy done by your dentist but um yeah it's it's definitely something very common i had a canker sore probably like two weeks ago and i like it was on my upper lip, and it gave me like a fat lip look, which was kind of cute. It worked. Not gonna lie, it worked. but it really, really <laughs> hurt. Yeah. What can be done about it? So typical treatments are ointments, so just a steroid topical cream that can work, but a new age way of doing it is a laser. So a lot of dentists have lasers in their offices where you can just hover the infrared light and it tackles any inflammatory cell or even virus. So cold sores even, canker sores will definitely work, but anything that's around the lip or in the mouth, a laser will go and heal it immediately. It speeds it up. Wow. Yeah. 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 So wow. you also say that stress causes bad breath, so mm -hmm. do tell, how does that work? So bad breath, of course, 80% of the time it is hygiene related, but acid reflux is a really common source of bad breath that is triggered by stress. So just that kind of like regurgitation of like that bitter, sour taste in the mouth that will sit in the mouth, that's not so great. And, uh, and yeah, it's just not so fun to is have. Is that the best way to, like, how do you identify if you have acid reflux? Usually you'll feel like a heartburn type of feeling. So it'll be that kind of pressure pain in the esophagus and the stomach up to the chest, even into the abdomen. And definitely that bitter liquefied taste in your mouth. Usually you'll get a feel for it. And usually you can just take antacids or if it's really severe, talk to your doctor and they can give you medication. But yeah, this totally been great stuff. information, yeah. doctor. Yeah. All of a sudden, all these dentists are like, why are you asking me for Botox and laser? <laughs> I'm here to clean your teeth. We do have a recap of all of these amazing tips at thesocial.ca right after the show. Hey, everybody, we'll be right back. Top six.